We use math and design. And so today I wanted to focus on ethnomathematics. As designers, we all use math to create our grids, our layouts. Ron Eglash has dedicated the better part of his research to studying embedded geometric math in African countries. Gloria Gilmore, she's doing a very similar thing, but she's talking more about the tessellations that exist. Their work has attributed to our ability to model complex processes within chemistry, biology. When it comes to mathematic patterns in African culture, it can not only be seen in the way that we do our hair or the way that things are laid out, but even in the divination practice some divination practices rely on recursively generated binary code. When you start talking about ethnomathematics and the value of that math, then you're getting into a whole new world where not only are we questioning what is math, but also who creates math. For students that may be scared of math, we're giving them a whole new outlet to really jump in and thrive and flourish.